Hello and welcome to the channel. Okay, I managed to get a tripod and I managed to get it all set up. So now you can watch as I do a full blown liquid pour. I've got all my paints here all mixed up and this is the consistency that you want. It just runs up the stick like honey. So I've got yellow there, I've got white, I've got green, Desire. some black and some lavender. Beautiful. Now what I've added to these paints is Floatrol, some Flow Improver, Liquitex, a little bit of alcohol and a little bit of silicon and water. Okay, I've got my knife ready because it's not just going to be a liquid pour, it's going to go on, then I'm going to manipulate it. Let me just go and get my torch ready. Torch ready, so I've got everything here ready. Okay, folks. Let us begin. I think some black first. Just a bit. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Oh, look at the cells forming there. Now some white. Just a bit of white. A little bit of lavender there. These colours will really look amazing. When they've all mixed and gelled together. black and a little bit more white and yellow this is the fun part Like that, and a bit more white. Okay, yeah, that's really pushed it all out. A little bit black now. Sorry, green, I mean. Okay, now we go for the mucky part. Before you go over the edge, just try and get most of the actual canvas covered. Okay, now we need to go all over the edge. This is a messy part, but by golly it's worth it. You know, what you end up with. Let's just okay. I'm just gonna put that there. Show my hands. That is the handy part of working, actually, in a kitchen. Right, I just want to add. Now you can always add a little extra. If you think your canvas needs just a little bit more, 
Just go ahead and do it. Because sometimes you'll get one colour that isn't showing, like the lavender. I'm going to just put that there again. Not too much, you don't want to ruin it and overpower it all. Okay. Alright, I'm going to put a bit more black. Just on that lavender. And white. How much white in here? Okay, oops, here we go. Just tilt it basically until you get the desired shape you want. But like I said, as this is going to be something different than just an ordinary pour. We don't have to sort of worry too much about how it looks. Just stretch it all over. I just want to get a little bit of thick paint, I'm just trying to get it to run over the edge here. It's coming from the green, like a blob. It's running over right now. Cool. That looks quite amazing actually now. Alright, time for clean up again. Okay. Mm, I've got enough paint there to do another. Hard work. Okay. Palette knife. These are really good. Nice and flexible. We're just going to manipulate it now. I need a little bit more paint, so I'm just going to scoop off a little bit there, chip it on there. You do have a bit of time to manipulate all this before it starts setting. But at the moment, I'm quite happy where it looks. Really good, okay. At this point, I would get a brush and with the stuff that's the paint that's actually dropped down, touch up the edges where you haven't got any because you will get the odd one or two patches. Okay, that looks pretty good actually. Yeah. Okay.
Right, now it is, it is time to go over with the torch. Just got to put the... Uh, Okay, here we go folks. This will just remove any bubbles that are formed. Be careful if you're using it close to paper, you don't want to start a fire. There's some amazing cells forming and shapes and patterns here. Wow, that looks pretty damn cool, I must admit. Almost resembles reptilian snake skin. The music here, by the way, if you do enjoy the music on my videos, it is by somebody called Parlas Jukebox, and he makes chill out remixes and lots of Enigma remixes and it's beautiful, it's beautiful to work to actually, so do um, pop along to his channel and subscribe to him, a big shout out to him because he makes beautiful music. Okay folks, so there you go, is a liquid pour, which looks fantastic. I will add a few photographs tomorrow and link it onto the, uh, the end of the video. So please folks, like, share and subscribe any comments drop them in the box and join me for my next video i'm going to use actually quite a bit of this paint i've got a lot of paint left so i'm going to quickly move this and put another canvas and you can join me for that video but for now thank you thank you for watching and hope to see you soon bye